Whatever the truth about why Nicky Butt has left Manchester United, there's one overriding thought that won't go away. And that's this. Nicky Butt leaving Manchester United is a huge loss to our football club. It's massively disappointing to see Butty leave the Reds because Nicky Butt has been an incredible servant to Manchester United. He's a Man United man through and through. He's got red blood in his veins and his footballing philosophy is ingrained in the DNA of our football club. Did Nicky Butt want the job now held by Darren Fletcher or John Murto? I honestly don't know. I expect he did. Was there a clash between Nicky Butt and John Murto? It's all speculation, but it does seem highly likely. What I do know is that Nicky Butt was good for Manchester United, and we owe him respect and thanks for his brilliant service as a Red Devil. He did a great job helping young players graduate from the academy to the first team, and he was loyal to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He was a man in no doubt United will be back on that perch sooner or later, as he told me himself. Listen, all big clubs have ups and downs and, and hopefully we'll get back on the on the right road with Ollie over the next you know, season or two. Um, but we all understand, all the real supporters know that you're not going to have it all your own way and things are going to go on a roller coaster up and down. And I genuinely believe we'll get back on the right track given time. I'm hugely in favour of ex-players being part of our coaching and recruitment. An ex-player who thinks like a fan is the perfect combination. And Nicky Butt is very much a Man United fan. As a footballer, Butt was one of the most underrated players in our history. As a member of the class of 92, he was overshadowed by the likes of Giggs, Scholes and Beckham. But Butt was just as priceless. I remember when Pele nominated Nicky Butt as his player of the 2002 World Cup. Three years earlier, Butt was a key member of our treble-winning team, stepping up in the European Cup final when Scholes and Keane were both ruled out by suspension. Despite being in a squad that boasted a midfield of Giggs, Scholes, Keane and Beckham, Butt still played 387 games and scored 26 goals for the Reds. But the academy graduate was the perfect man to become head of the academy itself. Since 2012, when he started out as a reserve team coach, Butt has been a key member of our team, elevated to head of the academy in February 2016. He's since filled a number of roles, most recently head of first team development, reporting directly to manager Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Overseeing the graduation of young players from the academy to the first team was a role that was made for Nicky Butt. Sadly, the new regime of John Murto as football director and Darren Fletcher as technical director has been followed by Butt's departure. Whether that's a consequence or a coincidence, I expect we'll find out sooner or later. If Butt ends up at Celtic with Roy Keane or as manager of Salford City or assisting Wayne Rooney at Derby County, none of those jobs will be a surprise because Butt is a hugely talented individual with experience and integrity. I do wish him every success wherever he goes. And who knows, maybe one day he'll end up back at Old Trafford. So I'd just like to end by saying good luck, Nicky Butt, and thanks for being a true Red Devil. 